Hello, welcome to the kitchen. We are going to be making a rice bowl for lunch today. And I've got some turkey meat and rice, jasmine rice in here already. Pre-made it uh, at the beginning of the week and just warmed it up today. So for your turkey, um, you can use beef if you prefer to use beef, you can do that. Um, but for my turkey, I just use some chili powder and some cumin and mix it up not too much, probably maybe a good teaspoon of each. And then I just got the ready-made rice, jasmine rice uh, from Uncle Ben's. <clears throat> Super simple and easy to do. Um, I did four ounces of the turkey meat and I did half a cup of the rice. And now what I'm doing is I am cutting up my bell pepper. I'm using a red bell pepper. You can use whatever um, bell pepper you like. I typically like the yellow ones, but they did not have any, so I got the uh, red ones. And what I do is I just use a fourth of it, and so I take my bell pepper, and I'm kind of weird about it, but I cut off the bottom, these little uneven parts. I cut off the bottom, and then I cut around the edges and then cut through the top and then just pull it all out. And then I cut it in fourths. That's how I do it. Super easy way to kind of find a fourth of a bell pepper, in my opinion. I'm sure other people have a better way to do it. Um, so then you've got little fourths that look like this. And so I just take one of those fourths and I cut it up into pieces, however you like to cut them up. I like them in little squares. Uh, my husband likes them in strips like fajitas. So whatever you like, just to go ahead and do that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the stove and you're gonna, I don't like to get mine gooey. I just like to get them warm. So I still like that crunch in it, but I like to have it warmed up a little bit. A little, a little soft, but not soft, soft. Um, we're gonna add about a fourth of a cup of carrots as well. I don't cook my carrots, you can if you would like. I like my crunchy carrots. Just gonna add that in there. Let these cook a little bit. I've already got the pan hot, so they're almost done. And then when they're almost done, you're gonna add a, a handful or a cup of spinach. We're not gonna wilt it. We're just gonna get it warm and it's still gonna be green. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be um, dark. I'm taking it off because it's pretty hot. I don't wanna overcook my spinach. So it's getting about where I want it to be as far as the spinach goes. I just wanna get it from that crispy texture to a little softer texture, but still green. So that's probably probably good right there for me. For my personal taste, you can cook it longer if you want. Okay, I'm gonna add that in there. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna turn the burner off. And then I'm gonna add just a few more pieces of regular spinach. Probably, whoops, like this much of just the spinach on top. So I do have that fresh spinach taste in there as well. So we've got a yummy, yummy bowl here. And then you're just gonna top it with feta. So there's no dressing or anything like that. I'm gonna add some feta. Depending on how many um, fats you have in reserve for your macros, depends on how much you can use. I um, have been doing about an eighth of a cup. For me, anywhere between an eighth to a fourth of a cup, I really like feta, it's super good. Um, and it just adds a really nice flavor. That's probably a little over an eighth, but not quite a fourth, um, just because I have these really big chunks in it. <clears throat> and that's it. And then you just mix it up and you enjoy. You can add um, some parsley on top if you want. It adds a really nice flavor to it. Um, I like to add parsley on it as well, but I didn't bring it into the kitchen because we, uh, we don't, this is my in-laws kitchen. Um, and, uh, so this is not my kitchen, but <clears throat> I like to add parsley on it. And I will, when I, when I get back to my kitchen 
and then you just enjoy. So I hope that you enjoy that. It's super filling, very, very filling. Um, you can add other veggies to it if you want. That's the beauty of it. You can add whatever veggies you want in it. You can add some zucchini. You can add some onions if you prefer. Uh, these are the ones that I typically just like. They all kind of mix together really, really well. So I hope you enjoy.